we're back for you welcome to my channel i am kirsty meekin in this video i'm going to show you how to sculpt a nail using your non-dominant hand so in that instance it's my left hand So, you may be right-handed or left-handed, so if you are left-handed, you will use your right hand to do this. And if you're like me, right-handed, like, I'm sure, what kind of percentage is the population? It's about 70%, I think, of right-handed. Yeah. 30% right yeah. yeah. is, like, wrong. And they used to, didn't they used to, like, tie your arm behind your back? Yeah, to If tie you were left-handed, yeah. they tie your right arm behind your back. The other way? No, if you were left-handed, they would tie your right arm behind your back so that you would have to use... No, the other way. Oh, the other way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would tie your left arm left behind arm, your back. Yeah, yeah. So you had to use your right hand yeah. back in the old days. Yeah, that was it. But apparently it's quite acceptable now to be left handed. Something you do with witchcraft as well. Oh. So, yeah, I'm going to do it with my left hand on my right hand, if that makes sense. I'm going to sculpt it as well. The sculpting forms I'm going to use today are some semi lac forms. So what we're going to do is I've taken out that centre bit. So if you've never used a form before, sorry, I've got an, an itch. If you've never used a form before, you take out that tab and you pop it on the other side of the of the, 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 the of the form. That makes it double the thickness. Why are you thinking why? Well, why would you need it doubly thick? Doubly thick makes it stay longer. It's going to hold the shape. Nice and thick will hold the shape. Lovely, look at that. So we rolled it between the thumbs, which gives it a curve. You can see that little curve, which is going to make it fit a lot easier on the nail. Now, sculpting a full set on your own hands is a whole nother level because I kind of do two fingers at a time if I'm doing that. Um, so, what you want to do is make sure you line everything up straight when you're popping your form on. So this centre line, you want to make sure that's nice and straight. And also you need to think about when you're applying product that the side walls need to be nice and straight as well. I've already prepped my nail, so I've removed the surface shine. I've done cuticle work. If you want to know how to do that, you can always check out the video for that. So we're going to make sure this fits nice and snug. So you button it right up to the hypernicium. And that's just a little bit of skin that's right underneath that free edge there. Is that what attaches your nail to your finger? Yeah, and if you break that kind of seal, sometimes you can have a bit of... Um, it's like a, basically an open space for I got, infection. I got a really big spelk up there once. A what? Spelk. What's a spelk? Spelk? Yeah. You don't know what a spelk is? No. Really? You know when you get like a piece of wood in your skin? A splinter. Splinter, spelk. Well, I've no, I, well, I never... Well, I have never heard it called that before. Spell, yeah. It's called a splinty. Spell. Oh, it's called a splinty. So I've put the form on and I have secured the form all the way down. It meets together equally each side. By closing all this, it makes it nice and tight. We like it tight. Right, so I've closed the end and you could create a stiletto nail on this. I'm going to create a ballerina shape nail, which is kind of like this. This one is actually a sculpt on my dominant hand. So I did it with my dominant hand. So maybe we'll just compare them. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. Well, to hell with it. We'll we'll compare the two after. So we'll compare me, my non-dominant one and my dominant one. That'll be pretty cool, I suppose. I don't mind showing you my imperfections on, you know, on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Right, so we need to prime this now. It's already been cleaned and everything like that. I'm going to prime it. I have got a CJP primer. For whatever system you're going to use, you can always use that primer. I'm going to do two coats of that. Notice how it's not completely saturated. And why is my hand shaking? I need chocolate. So two coats. And we're ready to rock. I'm just going to sculpt this out in one colour, just like I have done here. I'm going to use Nail Nails. Nat 
cruel bait. No, warm bait, warm bait. So, I'm doing this with this hand. And let me tell you, some people are really good with the left hand as well. I, I'm awful with my left hand. I can't catch with my left hand. I can't do a lot of things with my left hand. So, <laughs> here we go. Let's do it. So we're gonna go into the liquid. And I'm gonna go in with the wet side of the brush. Woo! I nearly dropped it there. And I'm gonna start here. So I'm starting where the natural nail sort of finishes. And this is the free edge. And we're gonna sculpt it out into this ballerina shape. Don't worry about the back section. By the back section, I mean the um, cuticle area. What we're doing now is just making sure we get everything nice and neat. Checking the length there. Okay, now we're going to get a bead of acrylic and we're going to start in that back third. I'm going to tip my finger down and bring that over the acrylic that we've just done. By doing that, we can build up a nice apex as well. Right, so when, as I look at this now, I can see where I need to sort of adjust it. And so I haven't gone close enough to the cuticle. So I'm going to get a small bead and I'm going to go closer to the So that's really close now not flooded the cuticle and the reason I haven't flooded it is because I'm pointing the finger down I mean you can always do it this way as well so I'm facing the nail towards me now but I'm still tipping it down and then I feel like we just need this is definitely one of them mm, concentrating face, tongue out, all sorts. I just need to add a little bit there, you can see. Okay, what we're going to do now is let it set a little bit and then I'm going to put a pinching tool on. First of all, sort of let it do its thing and then I can always add any more pressure if I need to. I'm going to take the sculpting form off now. It's important to pull it off 
in that direction not up some people sort of open the back and pull it up that adds stress we don't want to do that we just want to pull it down like that easy piece. i'm gonna use my electric file and i'm gonna use my safety bit which means it's round at the end Let's see there's no serrated edges on the very tip of that what i'm gonna do is work from my left to right doing the cuticle area first so you can see i'm holding it a lot different at this point whereas if it was my right hand i would hold it like a pen at the minute i'm sort of holding it like this as if i was peeling a potato so i'm just going to rotate over you can uh, with just the rotation of the e-file if you need to as well so I flip the e file round like I'm holding it like a pen now. Now, if I'm going to do it this way, I need to change the rotation, so I'm going to press a button and it's going to do the way so I can pull towards me now. So I've got most of it done with the e-file and now I'm going to refine the shape further. So I'm going to make sure those side walls are nice and straight. And I'm going to go around the cuticle area to make sure that's nice and flush. Now this is something that will take a bit of time and it's very important to get it bob on though. By bob on I mean to get it right. And I'm just doing this side first, and you'll notice that I move my right hand probably a little bit more than I move my left hand because it's easier. So instead of filing like this, which feels weird, I'm gonna file with my right hand. If that makes sense. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this side. So I'm I'm holding my hand in this position now. I could get away with holding it that way, this way, but I definitely can't file around here with the finger in that position. I've got to change the position. Just going to dust over that and I'm going to file the top surface now. So the last two thirds I'm mainly filing. And you can see again that I'm moving my right hand, not my left hand. I'm rotating it. What I'm doing with this is doing a bit of this, and I'm doing a bit of this. Looking down the barrel of the nail, and the side view of the nail to make sure everything's right, everything's nice and smooth. I haven't got flat spots or thick places. Everything's even. Even Stephen. Now I'm going to use a buffer and buff around the cuticle area first. And again, you can see I'm doing this thing where I move my right hand, not my left hand. So don't be thinking, oh, you've got to do, got to do all this with your left hand. Move your right hand if you're at home, and vice versa. I'm going to wipe over with some pure acetone now. I like to do this because it makes everything nice and smooth. I will admit it's not quite as slim as the one on my left hand. But it's still pretty nice. And I'm going to top coat this now. I'm going to use the Urban Graffiti top coat for this one. And I'm going to pop that into the lap. I'm going to finish this nail off with a little bit of cuticle oil. And I find rubbing that in with my left hand fine. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easy bit. So let's have a look at them. Let's compare. Let's compare. 
So this one's done with my right hand. This one's done with my left hand. They are slightly different. This one's thinner because I would have been quicker at applying the acrylic. So I would have pinched it a lot quicker. Whereas this one, I was slower. So it wouldn't have, it would have set up a little bit more. So you wouldn't get quite the sea cube. So that's why it's a bit wider. It's still got a nice sea cube. I actually like the look of this one better. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. That's how to sculpt a nail using your non-dominant hand. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you to do your own nails. Because it's always a chore. I hate doing my own nails, but I do not trust anybody else to do them. Um, so yes, that's you know one of my faults. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And I've also got Snapchat, so you can check me out on there. S subscribe to this channel, please. And also press the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay? Ta-da, duck! <laughs>